In the Regency, this grand house was a farm store and a farmyard. This great hall housed a huge cider press, and this room was a store for agricultural equipment. This is Lights Carey in Somerset. It's a grand house built over generations by the Light family. Their roots here go back to the 13th century. But as is the case with so many grand families and grand houses, they eventually ran out of money, and in about 1750, they had to sell the property. The buyers didn't want the house. What they wanted was the land. Lights Carey became a farm. Buildings were knocked down, and this great hall, it's not huge, but it's very impressive, was turned into a barn. But Lights Carey was not forgotten. It still attracted occasional visitors who came to marvel at the historic architecture, at things like this wonderful ceiling in one of the upstairs rooms. It appears in a number of guidebooks of the area as a historical curiosity. An 1880s edition of The Builder magazine says, The house is a rarity, being a good residence, built in the first half of the 16th century, which has not been thoroughly inhabited recently enough to be much altered, and has not been willfully injured to any great extent. It goes on to say that with considerable work, it can be restored, and that is exactly what happened. In the early 20th century, the house was bought by the Jenners, and they set about turning it into what it used to be, a grand residence. They began reinstating the gardens, and they furnished the house with paintings and furniture and ornaments from the 17th and 18th centuries. So, through the Regency and the whole 19th century, Lights Carey was a farm. But before that, it was a wonderful Tudor and indeed early Georgian manor house. And today it's been restored to its former glory.